Hello, hello and welcome to this week's video. Today we are going to look at frequency separation. Let me load up an image. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible, so we are not going to waste any time. So this image is a raw image. I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just going to click develop and I'm going to open this one in photo persona right first of all let's duplicate this image right click and we should have duplicate here click on the second layer and go to filters frequency separation click on this one and what frequency separation does basically it grabs the textures and the colors and just split them from your image so you'll have one layer with texture and one layer with colors which is super cool because you can do a lot of things to it so i'm going to quickly trying to adjust this one so i'm grabbing this slider because i want half of her face to be visible and i'm going to increase the radius so here i'm interested only in the colors and here I'm interested in the texture. You don't want to go over the part. You don't want to go something like here. Because you see the texture is blending with the color. So you want something where the texture meets the color. Something like this. I don't know if I'm <laughs> explaining this properly. But uh, this is how I, how I play with it. So now you see one layer should be this blurry image. And the other one should be this texture bit, which is exactly what we're looking for. Click apply and this will create two layers. So if we look here, we have high frequency layer and low frequency layer. So basically high frequency layer is the texture and low frequency is the color. If you want, you can rename them just to, to know better when, when you edit them. What I'm going to do now is for the low frequency, I'm going to create a duplicate mostly because I want to preserve the original color cast of the image. It's just for reference and also it's something that if I go overboard with the editing then I can come back anytime and just play around. So duplicate and from this I'm going to select all three so holding shift and clicking on the third layer there and I'm going to group layers. It's going to be easier for me to basically check and uncheck this uh, this bit. Right, with this out of the way I want to crop this image. Now don't hate me, I'm going to crop it very very harsh. So <laughs> because I want to create like a desktop wallpaper-ish image, you know, so I'm going to crop it by 16 by 10 and something like this. As you can see my 16 by 10 was already selected. So I think this should be enough. Actually, you know what? Let's go something like this. Want only her face and part of her hand. Uh, looks good. Something like this. Actually, oh, good. So, hit enter, and there you go. Oh, looks good. And to be honest, frequency separation, you see, I haven't done anything, but her skin is so soft that basically it will require just a few adjustments, and that's it. So, let's see what we can do here on Darcy's image. Click on the high frequency one first. Let's go and choose here in paint brush tool you can use the healing brush you can use the clone tool as well but this one works very very good so let's make it bigger let's zoom in and be careful to have high frequency layer selected and let's remove some of this hair First of all, and some of the blemishes and, you know, the small 
dimples let's see and um as i said i'm going uh, i'll do very very quick edits mostly for you to see how this frequency separation is working so i might speed up this video okay let's say that i don't want to overdo it actually you know what i'm going to leave it 100 percent speed just for you to see um, what's happening here now she has some freckles and I'm going to keep those because they are cool okay she has some hair here it's not that visible at the moment so we're going to keep something like this and this now you can I'm using a Wacom tablet with a Wacom pen but you can use the mouse as well for this it's very very fast okay I'm going to remove that remove that so basically what I'm doing right now is um, duplicating the pixels around the um, texture so if you've seen only the texture here then you'll had a better understanding okay okay doc. as I said I don't want to overdo it I'm sorry to keep you that long some glow here a bit of hair okay okay doc. Yeah, I'm sorry for uh, all the trails there but it's important oops it's important for you to see what buttons I'm pushing here for you to to see my process okie dokie okay cool 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 I'll take this one I'm going to leave a few bits here cool 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 now with the frequency done let's see before so I'm going to hide the group oh, I'm going to hide the group and unhide the main so this is the original image and this is come on and this is after now let's click on the low frequency so basically the colors hit B on your keyboard to open the brush tool and click uh, option or alt and click on the image now because I'm using this soft that when I press option or alt is going to zoom in but when you click on it holding alt or option you're going to see that basically you're sampling a color so I sample the cheeks I'm going to use opacity around uh, 20 percent just want just as much whoops change the time as well so opacity 90 percent flow three percent three four percent something like that hardness zero i want a very very soft tool and when you start painting on the low frequency you'll start to notice what's happening so let's sample from here as well try to sample from everywhere um, the more you sample the better the image will look it's not going to be truncated or something like that so let's see here and what is doing is basically copying the color which is cool let's copy this one and make the line here Smoother. copy around here and just click now if you want to see before and after like we did last time you hide this and you can see slight slight difference as I said I don't want to over exaggerate I want to be the, as close to the truth as possible but also showing you how to to work with this frequency separation thing 
now let's take a look here you see you, they she has like this line here so if you go to high frequency go ahead and click again this in paint brush and let's kill it with fire <laughs> now go to the low frequency again hit b on your keyboard to bring the brush hold up alt or option click on this area around here and just go nuts and start painting i know that is not a big difference for this image but it's not my fault that the model is perfect <laughs> so yeah we managed to remove this of course if you want to clean up the rest of the image you can go and just clean up here go to the frequency separation go to in paint and just see just remove this pesky hairs that were stuck but this is you know nitty gritty right now come on it looks good don't need to go that into detail right and from here you will go and adjust the levels and do whatever you want to do but this looks super super nice to be honest so let's see yet again the before so this is before and this is after i know a slight 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 change but it does the job and yeah i think this is more a natural looking image so i really like it and from here you save it and you export it and that's about it i really hope you enjoyed this small tutorial if you did hit the like button and comment below if you have more questions and if you're not subscribed to my channel please consider do so it will help me a lot until next week my name is alex take care